Hey guys, welcome back to Craft Corner. It is part two of sprucing up your envelopes. If you remember in last year for Valentine's Day, we did a segment about how to dress up your envelopes for all your pretty love letters that you were sending out. And now that the holidays are over and you are hopefully sending out thank you notes to people or uh, perhaps New Year's cards wishing them well, it is not time for you to stop with the creativity. It is time to spruce it up. And I'm gonna show you a couple of ways in which to do that. The first way is to send your note in a glassine bag like this one. Now, I took a trip to the post office recently and I, cause I had heard rumors that people were sending odd things in the mail. And I had to double check to make sure that all of the things that I was going to potentially send that would perhaps be considered odd would actually be sent in the mail. So I double checked on all of these and, and trust me that they will go through. So the first one is this awesome glassing bag. So I, I printed out a photo of my beautiful new nephew and my brother and I'm going to send that in the mail to them to say thank you for their gifts that they sent. And I added a lovely label on the front and the stamp and that is good to go. You can send that right in the mail sort of like sending a postcard, but it looks different, it's festive, it's fun, and it's definitely interesting. And you can get these glassy bags at any craft store, and they come in like packs of 50, so you'll be good to go. That's one. Two is sending interesting items. Now, one of my very good friends, Sherry, she is the events manager here at Mom Trends, and she has worked hard all year long, and she's helped me work hard also and inspired me. So I found this little grater, cheese grater, at the dollar store, and I wrote a little note that says, you're the greatest on it. And I thought it'd be really fun to send that to her in the mail. So all you need to do if you want to send your own little grater to someone who has done something for you throughout the year that you're thankful for is to grab a little tag like this that has a hole in it so that you can attach a ribbon to go around it. You don't want it coming off in the mail, that would stink. So make sure that it's secure and add your stamp and who it's going to be delivered to on the front, your note on the back, and it will go through the mail. And that's something really fun for somebody to get into their mailbox. The next thing that we're gonna talk about is sprucing up envelopes. If those things are a little too intense for you, I totally get it. You can just use regular sharpie markers, but find some of metallic colors because a little sparkle goes a long way. And you don't have to be a fantastic artist, trust me. I can't even draw a stick figure, so I stick the things that I know how to do, like lines and dots and squiggles. Trust me when I say that a little goes a long way. You can turn a boring envelope, add some squiggles down the side, and it looks totally new and festive and fun. Or you can go the line and dot route. You can do some sort of geometric shapes to highlight the address. Or you can make it look like a package by doing a couple of different lines and adding a little bow. My tip for this is to always place the stamp first because sometimes you have different shapes of stamps. Some are big and some are small. Sometimes you need a couple of them to go through the mail. So always put that down first before you do your designs because you don't want So I hope you like these tricks and tips. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.